Today we are going to talk about time and process. When I'm looking at this present Christianity, I discover that present Christianity, they are getting things wrong. Somehow, they are going to a wrong direction. Help me to touch that subscribe button so that you can be receiving all my updates. And also, if you are watching on Facebook, you can click on follow button. In as much as God is able to bless, in as much as God can command favor and command things to happen at any time, we must understand that in following God, that time and process is a must requirement in following Him. Time and process is a must requirement in following God. There are many miracles, there are a lot of miracles that you can never receive without time and the process. No matter how you fast, no matter how you pray, no matter how you sow seed, there are some things that will never happen in your life until that time comes. For instance, imagine a pregnant woman who conceived last month and with her fasting and prayer and quoting of scriptures and sowing of seed and going for different ministries with all the laying of hands of prophets and pastors and preachers and this woman begin to pray she now believe god that she will put to bed after two months now i want to tell you that no matter how that woman fast no matter how that woman pray no matter how that woman believe god no matter kind of faith the woman exercise god will never answer that prayer because the woman violate laws of time and the laws of process god has already destiny that every pregnant woman we put to bed after nine months that is the right time for that miracle to mature and the until she reached at the age of i mean until she waits and the society patient until eight nine months before that miracle will mature i use this to give an example because there are many things in your life today you want it to happen now which is not the right time the Bible said in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 Bible said that to everything there is season and there is time for everything under the sun to everything there is a season and there is time for everything and in the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2 the Bible said for God had said at the appointed time will I hear you on the day of salvation have I helped you so there is a day God program there is some there is a certain time a certain days a certain hour God program for everything to happen to take place and because majority of people majority of Christians majority of children of God they did not understand that they end up being frustrated along the way because they want to manifest everything they want to force everything to happen before the time they want to force everything to happen before the time they engage in fasting they engage in sowing of seed some have so seed so seed to the extent that they are tired of sowing seed and they lost faith in christ they lost faith in god because they said that it is the seed they are sowing is not working i want you to understand that time is a must requirement in following God and the process is also a most requirement in following God all the people that follow God in the Bible all of them have this requirement of time and process look at the life of Abraham Abraham was a man that believed God and the Lord entered into covenant with Abraham the Lord appeared to Abraham and said to Abraham all oh, as far as your eyes can see I will give unto you and when Abraham looked up, by the grace of God, Abraham could be able to see seven nations. And the Lord said, I will give these seven nations to you. But the Bible makes us understand that Abraham had to go to that land and live as like a stranger for many years. And the Lord did not just make it to happen automatically. And that is why if you are a gospel preacher hearing this message, I want you to learn how to balance the gospel of the kingdom to your audience to your congregation so that they can be able to understand that no matter how they fast no matter how they pray no matter how they sow seed there is 
some certain things that will never happen until the accepted time. And the, many people did not understand this. A lot of people have keep on sowing seed in order to manifest something that will never happen now. And if you are a preacher of gospel, you must love people to tell them truth, not to be telling them so seed, this thing will happen. If you can so seed, this one will take place. If you can so seed, this one will take place. There are a lot of things that God will never do, never do, no matter the amount of seed you sow, until the time of it comes. But I want you to understand that God has not abandoned his people. God has not abandoned his people. We must teach them so that they will understand that in following God, that faith is very important and patience is very important. They are child of God. There is that thing you think that God has forgotten you. There is that particular thing you look around you. You say, oh, when will this thing take place? Oh, when will this thing take place? Oh, this will not happen again. Oh, God is no longer hearing me. Oh, God has abandoned me because you have prayed, because you have fasted, because you have so seen, because you have done this and that. Maybe it is the time and the process that is God is telling you. There is time for that miracle to happen. And I am praying for you that you will receive grace to wait. You will not quit on the way. You will not quit on the way. I preach on one of my messages. I said a human being is a seed that God planted into the earth. We are like seeds, like as we see many trees. We have many trees like cocoa tree. We have we have something like purple. We have something like cashew tree. We have something like pear. We have something like mango tree. But you discover that all of them are not bearing fruit at the same time. Maybe your neighbor by your side is like a cuckoo tree and this is the time of cuckoo to bear fruit. Maybe you are, you are classified as a mango tree in the kingdom. Maybe another person is classified as a pear tree in the kingdom. Maybe your other person is classified as an orange tree in the kingdom. And the, if you want, begin to imitate everyone, you want everything that happened to this person's life to happen to you. You want it to take place immediately as it's taking place in the life of that person. You will be frustrated because God has programmed each and every man's destiny, each and every man's life. With time, everything will happen. But I want to tell you that God will never abandon you. God will make you to celebrate. Learn how to apply time and process in your journey with God. Abraham applied it. Even David applied it. David is a side patient. In fact, God took him to bush for training after the anointing has come upon him. He did not become king automatically. No, because he has not been trained. So God had to train him. And David had to wait. He waited before that blessing came upon him. Even Joseph waited also. You remember, Joseph waited. And you, you will wait. And God will bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also, follow my Facebook page at Anthony Ministry TV. May the peace of God and the God of peace be with you. Amen.